Hello everybody, Dokkan Assets here. Today we are back with a, another Dokkan Battle video. And ladies and gentlemen, I had videos planned for this weekend, or I guess I should say a video, but I'm going to be honest with you. After the Jump Festa live stream and getting to see all of the superhero stuff incoming for Dokkan Battle on JP and Global, I just wanted to talk about superhero. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. I'm basically just going to ramble, give my thoughts, give some speculation upon these units after we go over basically everything that we got. I just wanted to talk about superhero. I literally just wanted an outlet to be able to just talk and talk and talk about this because I am looking forward to it like no other. And frankly, there's so many other things in Dokkan that I could surely just go over and talk about or do another animation analysis video. But gosh dang it, I just want to talk about superhero. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. This is going to be a discussion video. I'm going to talk about a bunch of different things. I'm going to go over everything that we got. And uh, yeah, this one's going to be a little bit more laid back, a little bit easier video. By the way, if my setup sounds a little bit funny, it's because I'm actually on vacation right now. I suppose that's also part of the reason why I'm doing this type of video as well. So please forgive me if the setup is a little bit janky because your boy's got the portable setup on deck. Let's go ahead and get into it though. So of course, um, we did get the initial trailer and the card art shown for these guys at the Jump Festa live stream for JP. However, as soon as Jump Festa ended, on global they showed off the brand new characters in a producer letter from koto and as well the same promo video that was for the jump festa stream they also translated into english and uploaded that so let's go ahead and take a look at everything here of course we have the base arts for gohan and piccolo oh man these look so sick if i do say so myself it's really interesting how these arts kind of differ because as you can see with gohan right he has gohan beast in the background sort of you know giving you that ooh, it's gonna transform right and then it's just piccolo here with no orange piccolo in the background like not the same thing which is kind of weird because I feel like that takes away from the card sort of like matching up or being a little bit of a dual Dokkan Fest type of thing. I know it's nothing crazy, but you know, usually when it's a dual Dokkan Fest, the card arts kind of line up like that. So I think it's just sort of interesting. And then of course, the transformations, which we'll take a look at the full um, actual animation for it in a second. But the transformation arts look fantastic. And of course, they revealed the boys being the full card art, which looks so, so good. We'll talk more about them in a second, but I do want to show you some of the HD close-ups from the actual trailers that we got. Oh man, this art looks so good. It's really interesting to me that they decided to sort of go with this 2.5D kind of style, right? It's a lot more noticeable on Gohan and on Piccolo especially, where it's kind of like doing the 3D superhero CGI thing, but I feel like that was a lot more, you know, heavily done on the initial superhero arts that we got. So it's interesting that this isn't as CGI, right? Like you can still see that kind of style within the card art. But it's definitely not there as heavily as it is on some of those initial arts for sure. And then especially with the Gohan Beast and Orange Piccolo art, um, these arts, right? <laughs> Excuse me. I feel like definitely have that LR shading. But definitely don't really look like that superhero style. Hydrate or dehydrate, baby. Even on vacation, you know we hydrate which I'm honestly not really opposed to because I think the arts look fantastic, right? They look really, really good. It's just interesting to me that they didn't quite keep with the CGI style. Like, you can kind of still tell that it's a little bit of that 3D element, but it definitely just looks more like a regular LR card. And not any regular LR card because they absolutely popped off with these arts for sure. One other interesting thing that I wanted to point out, and again, I don't really think it amounts to anything, but at the end of the global trailer, um, they did not have the text for to be continued which i just thought was kind of interesting again i don't really think it means anything but i just thought that that was interesting that the english text is in the jp trailer and not in the global trailer so let me know if you think that this means anything i honestly think that this was just a cool way to transition to saying like oh we're going to give you more information in the future and especially it made a little bit more sense having that be at jump festa right and then of course you know this just being a normal trailer so here we have the full artwork for Gohan with the transformation animation. 
Oh my gosh, ladies and gentlemen. I, <laughs> listen, I don't do animation analysis videos on the card art, but I think we're going to do a quick one real quick <laughs> because it's just so good, dude. So first of all, right, let's go back to the beginning here um, where we have the card art here, right? Of course, Gohan, I don't know if you can hear that through my headphones, right? We have Gohan with the electricity and of course, Gohan Beast has a little bit of an aura in the background as well. What's so cool is of course, they use the animation from the movie, which as most of you I'm sure are aware, it is a reference to Super Saiyan 2 Gohan in the Cell Saga. Very, very nice that they bothered to include that in the card art. I actually really, really like that because they Definitely didn't have to, but it's so cool that it's in the card art because I'm sure it's going to be in the animations as well. And we, of course, have the light sort of cover everything. We have this very cool shading here, right? Obviously, sort of him being engulfed by that orange light, which is so awesome. The electricity pop in there. Look at these impact frames, bro. They are so sick. And then, of course, we have the blue light in the background followed by the power up. And this looks awesome with him really going crazy with the power up here and these nice impact frames with the electricity and then of course he gets a little bit darker and the beast shows up in the background which is so nice and i don't know if you can see it i think you can kind of tell there actually the ultimate gohan renders eyes are actually a little red in this section which i think is the perfect little touch that this card art needed to have this be so perfect for sure we obviously have a impact frame there with the electricity and the boy pops up on the screen very very cool it's very interesting as well how they're doing these arts with them being so zoomed in like this pretty interesting if I do say so myself because there aren't really too many like this the only one that kind of comes to mind I guess is sort of like Janemba's being this close up right when he has the art where he you know comes closer to the screen forming from the Lego blocks because <laughs> even the card arts you know like you know the Super Saiyan 4s right where Gogeta appears in the main card art even that one he's not as close up to the screen so it's interesting that they did it that way and of course for the boy orange piccolo here we have this art right here with him powering up and oh this animation is so good dude oh my gosh obviously this is a perfect reference to the movie we then of course just have orange piccolo sitting here right this is so nice so first of all the aura looks so good right the little bit of the heat coming off of my man um and then everything gets dark and of course a huge reference to when he first goes into orange piccolo when he's falling down after his fight with gamma 2 and shinron goes i threw in a little something extra right and we have shinron spiral around him forming into the tree of course on his back which you see in the orange piccolo gi right which of course then becomes like the more basic shape that's on piccolo's back and then the orange explodes out just like it does in the movie when he first comes back up from the crater and there the boy is very very nice i will say as much as i think i like the like regular base art for this gohan like this i definitely like this one better i think i almost like the transition for this guy better but that also makes may just be because it's a little bit more like I don't want to say accurate to the movie but I think it flows a little better because it's literally just like the way that the transformation is and I feel like using that for the card art you know it kind of flows a little bit better than Gohan's because obviously his transition was a little bit different right but I think they still both work really well but I really like the flow of Piccolo's card as well this was also something else interesting um, that I did want to point out, right? Obviously, like this, um, with what I was explaining before, how Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta pops up. Now, the reason why I wanted to bring this point up in the first place is because there is one thing that could be a little bit unfortunate in regards to this. Because what this could possibly mean, right, is that... Technically, these guys only show up, that being Orange Piccolo and Gohan Beast, in their active skill animations, right? Sort of like how with the Tech Super Saiyan Blues from the last anniversary, Gogeta only shows up in their active skill, right? Now, I believe if memory serves that, well, I guess we could just look it up on the wiki real quick. I don't think Blue Gogeta actually pops up um, in their art if memory serves let me double check that 
So that is just another good sign that hopefully these guys actually do, you know, like have a proper transformation because of course we have not seen literally any animations yet whatsoever. Um, so of course, you know, we technically have no idea if that's the case. Yeah, it's literally just them going Super Saiyan Blue. Gogeta is not there. Um, and then of course, you know, for the Super Saiyan God art, right? Yeah, it's basically just like their attack sort of gets bigger. Um, and then, you know, more animated and obviously the colors kind of flare up a little bit more. So no Gogeta in this one. Yeah, just into a flash of light, right? And it sort of resets. Obviously, Gogeta's not in this one. It's just the Super Saiyan Blues in the background. But, of course, you know, being a little bit different, um, the Super Saiyan 4, Goku and Vegeta, right, with their base art, you do actually have Gogeta pull up um, in the art. So... I would think that because of the pattern that we've had so far with the art, this means that the cards are actually going to have a proper transformation into Gohan Beast and Orange Piccolo. I would also think that they wouldn't want to waste the opportunity to have them be like full transforming cards. Like I think they know that people want to play with Gohan Beast and Orange Piccolo, right? They want to be able to use the characters specifically and not just have them appear in the active skill animation. So I'm really hoping that is the case. Again, from this pattern that we have seen from the card arts, it would seem that this implies that these guys are going to transform so hopefully that will be the case um from the producer letter by the way it is just kind of interesting to note here obviously the fact that they're coming to global at all right um but i gotta say right it is kind of crazy to me that Global is getting these at the exact same time, right, as JP, because obviously the New Year's celebrations are usually not a dual Dokkan fest, and not to mention, of course, the sort of elephant in the room um, is that, of course, the New Year's units are not usually LRs, and that, you know, really begs the question you know, is this going to be too many banners back to back to back? Because obviously with JP, right, at least in years past, it hasn't been too bad because most of the time you've been able to skip the New Year's units and then save for the anniversary. But obviously, you know, we just had the Christmas LR. We obviously had SDBH right before that. We had the Gammas right before that, right? Of course, the new Yamcha is pretty good as well. Obviously, some of those are skips though, and some of those are something that I think more people would be inclined to summon on. But obviously, you have all of that. And then right into this, and then not to mention, of course, just a January Dokkan Fest will be the normal one, and then right into Anniversary in February, which is pretty insane. And not to mention for Global, right? Obviously, Global is in the middle of the celebration where they're just getting Trunks and Vegeta, right? Which are obviously super big units. They also just got Zamasu for Christmas. We know that this is going to be a dual celebration. And then, thankfully, they're a little bit off the hook. They also did have SDBH, though, thrown in there, too. And the Gammas, as well. So, Global's not even really off the hook in terms of the summons. I mean, I think JP is kind of a little bit more screwed in the pooch, you know, so to speak, right? Because, obviously, Anniversary is about to happen right after this um so that is pretty crazy to think about i don't know how people are even going to have the stones to summon on that and on top of that you know i think one thing that is going to be really interesting to see is what do they make anniversary at this point because I know for me personally and from a lot of the consensus that i've seen from the community this was what people kind of wanted for anniversary or at least they felt it was absolutely anniversary worthy like you know very hype of course right it's the brand new dragon ball movie but not to mention of course a new form for two fan favorite characters so what are they gonna do for anniversary i honestly have no clue because at least for me there's definitely nothing more hype than these two right Whatever anniversary could be, unless it's literally another Gohan Beast and Orange Piccolo, <laughs> which obviously is not going to happen. I have no idea what could possibly be more exciting than these two, at least for me personally. I know for a lot of people in the community kind of feel that way. So, I like, bro, listen, I don't know. You know, I'm sure I'll summon for the anniversary units when they come out. Like, there's no doubt about that. But 
if not summoning on anniversary means summoning on this, these guys, right? I think for me personally, that is absolutely worth it because if you've seen my escapades on Twitter, you know how excited I have been for Gohan Beast. This is literally all I've wanted ever since I watched the movie, right? And it is finally here. By the way, one last thing that I wanted to talk about in this video is we do have a live stream coming up for the fourth campaign obviously this will be the third campaign on global because global combined in two of the campaigns um, because of course they did the first and the second part when the movie came out here in the states and japan did the first part when it came out in japan and the second part when it came out in the states so um for the fourth part of the anniversary uh, or for the anniversary it kind of feels like the anniversary i'm not gonna lie for the superhero campaign it is going to be on december 26th so that will be very exciting. I can't believe we have to wait 10 days, basically. Maybe more like nine at this point, but 10 days to get more information on the superhero units. That is definitely going to be a long wait. You know for a fact that I am going to be streaming this. Obviously, when it comes to live stream events like this, I always stream them on the Dokkan Assets channel rather than this channel, the DBZ Assets channel, because your boy ain't trying to get copyright claimed <laughs> because that channel is demonetized anyway, so I may as well watch the copyrighted content on that channel. And then if something happens to that channel where it gets hit with you know a copyright claim, oh well, it's not gonna hurt me because that channel isn't monetized anyway. So obviously, when it comes to that sort of thing, I'd rather watch it on that channel and, of course, on Twitch. But with regular gameplay and stuff, and I'm sure for the summons for these units, of course, that'll be on this channel. As well, it'll be interesting to see if they actually do give us any hints for anniversary from this video. I am assuming that this is basically going to be this live stream or maybe this debut or what, what's that called? Um, premiere on YouTube. I couldn't think of the word. I'm sorry. Whatever this may be, right, it'll be interesting to see if they give us any information on Anniversary at all. I'm kind of assuming not, considering, of course, it's going to be mostly superhero. But it will be really cool to see. The only thing I think left that I even wanted to sort of get out into the wild was, I do wonder what they're going to do with Cell Max. I wonder if he's going to be like a unfeatured unit on, you know, an unfeatured featured unit, basically. Um, one of their banners right maybe with a new pan card or something like that it would be kind of weird to have like gohan's unit be pan and then piccolo's be <laughs> so max or something like that i'm sure it would probably be flip-flop actually now that i think about it but it'll be interesting to see what they do with him it'll be crazy if they make him like a i guess it would technically be part five right but a part five carnival lr that will be kind of wild if they actually do that considering the fact that obviously these two are you know lrs themselves and i guess that would just be what you would be summoned for in january i don't know it'll be interesting to see what they do with the big man himself but let me know what you think of everything in the comments section below. I would love to hear your thoughts about everything that we covered today. I know this is a little bit of a different video than I usually do, just sort of basically a discussion video. I think I may have done one or two videos like this in the past, but honestly, I just wanted an outlet to talk about Superhero, and there were so many thoughts that I had revolving around everything that dropped tonight, right? Like, I could have done a separate video on basically each of the sort of mini topics that I, you know, talked about throughout this video, but I figured making it into one big video would be the move. So let me know your thoughts, your speculation, of course, um, everything related to the thoughts and speculation that I was talking about in this video. And let me know who you're summoning for. I know for me, it's both easy. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Tokan Assets out. Peace.